Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. First thing we gotta do before we start this video, I used to come back from football practice and I'd have to wait for the mail. Our mail comes like decently early. Now I can just grab it, but man, one of my favorite things to do is to get mail and open it. So we got a lot of mail. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. So look, this is the best feeling. Good morning, good morning, this is it. Got a mail day from Burbank Sports Card. I see Rob Veras on the package. Oh yeah. I knew this was coming though. <laughs> I have not had coffee yet and I'm excited about this mail. We're gonna make some coffee, we're gonna open it. Welcome to another episode of Road to the National. I gotta give a huge shout out to Rob from Burbank. They're really close, but I've bought my single cards from them. For years I've been buying from Rob in Burbank before I even went there for the first time. They're just so great about shipping and texted him saying I made an order and he's like, oh, don't worry, our team's already packaging. Uh, like, And he didn't even know it was mine. So it's like, dude, they're on it. So shout out to Burbank. I wanna remind you guys about the WhatNot app. We're doing another giveaway show on Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern, around there. I'll schedule the show and I'll let you guys know. Join the WhatNot link. I am holding this watermelon because as a test of my strength, and we could auction this off this weekend. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, guys, I'm doing a giveaway show every Sunday. Check out the WhatNot app. It's one of my favorite places to auction my cards. They are helping us out with the road to the National, and we're going to give away $5,000 at the National, $5,000 in sports cards, box breaks, and more. If you've never been on the WhatNot app, it's one of my favorites. There's dollar auctions for single cards, box breaks, packs, and more. Use my link down below. You get your first $10 to spend. Don't forget that I'm live every single Sunday from here on out until the national. Shout out to whatnot. All right, let's have a great day today. Come with me, let's do it. Let's freaking go, I'm hyped. I've been working out every single day since I got back. Double day on one of the days, we didn't even record it. Today, I'm gonna take a day off from working out. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I gotta drop files for editing. I have to prepare as I'm leaving for Oklahoma City for a couple days. I'm going to Tahoe all next week. So today I need to really focus. I cleaned the office this week. I was so happy about it. That office is one of my favorite places. I'm getting a chill on my arm talking about my office. I have wanted to clean that office for like a couple months to really clean it and get it organized and like just clear the clutter and see what we were gonna give away. So it's good. Now I have the office clean. I feel really good about it. I can pop in there late at night when I have to strategize. This national is gonna be amazing, you know? Just kind of like a preview, like I'm coming up with some really great ideas. I'm gonna collab with a lot of companies within the industry that I personally just trust and I'm, I'm gonna try some things with them. You know, I'm excited because they're giving me opportunities to expand my content to different levels. So the national will be super fun. I kind of, people had asked me like, would I host a trade night at the national? I mean, at this point, like Card Collector 2 and Jimmy always hosts like one of the best trade nights. So I'm kind of just wanting to be a participant, you know, I, I, I just want to be there, be a participant and, and have some fun, you know, maybe down the road. This is my second national. My first one was a trial run just to see what it was all about. The second one, what's going to be different about this one? I'm not setting up. I have a home base. I guess I could say I do have a home base that I can set up, but I don't really need to set up. I, I, for me, the national is walking around. It's documenting our experience through walking around and buying things. And the national is unlike anything I've ever seen. I will say that I'm probably going to have to ship ho home a lot of cards because I'm going to be doing a lot of buying at the national card show. But yeah, what's going to be different this year? I think I'm going to do a lot more interactive stuff. We usually do the day one, day two, day three, day five, day 20, day 55 log and those are cool and I think we'll still do those and we'll do a walkthrough and stuff like that but I'm telling you now like we're coming out with some different style stuff and I'm very excited for it so it'll be fun like I always tell you guys like whatever you see on the cameras what you're gonna get like we're gonna make the videos fun and interactive and like if you guys have suggestions at the national Put them down below like if you want me to showcase some of the best lebron james cards like that was an idea i wrote down i have a notebook where i write down all my ideas that was something i thought about maybe showing some of the best jordan cards in a compilation you know listen anybody can record the jordan cards anybody can record lebron's but like i want it through my eyes through my experience my reaction that's what we're going for i just want to capture the moment like create the story and then have that person share their like history behind that card if they owned it or there's a guy there that always has tickets like why does he do that you know and that's what we're trying to go for so we're trying to get an experience the reason i say through my eyes is because like i can capture it and have someone capture it for me and i don't know I, i'm genuinely interested in like really cool cards as well so i mean that's like 
whenever I see like a card where it's like a UD Black, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Dual Auto, I'm just like in awe, man. Like that was one of my favorite products. And then like, there's just some crazy Panini, like flawless logo man stuff like that so that's just kind of like my my initial thoughts about the national i'm thinking out loud with you guys because think about this i'm gonna throw a curveball to you guys if i didn't tell you guys this on camera my head's telling me right now and i got a notebook that i could write on but i'm putting it out there kind of food for thought so let me know about some thoughts about the national anyway i need to make coffee holy snap all right we got french roast today hey yo there we go french roast in this is a smaller cup. We'll do little eight ounces. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. So, boom. So today, like I said, today's gonna be a simple day. I'm not working out. I'm I'm literally gonna do this. I'm gonna drop files. I don't really need to film myself dropping files and editing. Shane's gonna take care of a lot of stuff. Shane's killing it with my team. And we got some other people that are doing big things for this team. I think when you start a business, you start as yourself and you try to do as much as you can by yourself. There's something that you come that comes up. You, you run out of time, right? I, I could only do so much of the breaking, so much of the packaging, so much of this where it's like at some level, I need help. You know, that's that's growth in a business, right? That's healthy, it's a healthy growth. So we're doing that and then I'm opening mail and then this is gonna be like a short day. Just, I, I have a lot of things off the camera that I need to take care of today. So open some mail and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below. Enjoy. So you guys are always commenting on my videos and I don't always comment back, but I see your guys' comments. I'm gonna give away two cards in this video as like a thank you. I'm gonna try to give away something every video. Just I feel like that's part of the deal. So today we're gonna give away a Mike Trout CSG9 and a Michael Jordan PSA9 right there. Michael Jordan's playground. It's a cool, cool shot. I wonder where this is. I don't think it tells us. If anybody can research that, let me know. Anyway. All right, all I want you guys to do is comment down below. What is one life lesson or something that sports cards or collecting autographs taught you? That's an open-ended question, right? And I'll answer first. Autograph collecting taught me to communicate really well and to be persistent, like when I was collecting signatures. Sports cards taught me about community and this aspect that I could have a hobby that, that brings me joy and it makes me happy. And eventually I could build it into a career. And, that, and that's the truth, you know, it, it taught me how I could get closer to sports, man. That's the coolest thing too. I could, I could love sports and I can get even closer to them through the collecting aspect. Today I'm gonna give you guys the experience of what it means to sell from anywhere in the world. I'm flying to Oklahoma City today and I'm gonna be live on the WhatNot app. The selling process, I gotta bring sticky notes. I have to bring team bags. Everything I'm bringing hopefully is slabs like and some other various stuff like I'm bringing some Zions to sell, Jaw Morant, just some simple stuff, Zion, Jaw, bunch of Jaw and Zion, so I'm going to sell those tonight. The reason it's a lot different is because I have to prepare like on the road how I'm going to do this and I'm, you know, not too thrilled with this to be honest with you. If I, if I could tell you one of my least favorite things, it's going to be this right now, but it's because I've never done it before and it's uncomfortable. But yeah, we got some Kobe's, put these in. Right here, these Kobe's are sick. This is a sick Kobe. This is a 2000 right there. Look at that. And some other Kobe's. We got some Kobe rookies. We got some Jordan slabs. So we're gonna run all these at a dollar. I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna give away a thousand dollars worth of stuff. We're giving away three hobby boxes, a bunch of other stuff. We'll do some slabs. Here's some other stuff we'll run tonight. Jameis Winston, Mike Trout. We'll give these away. This Mark McGuire will probably give away. Jordan. Shaquille O'Neal, Jordan, LeBron, Kobe Bryant, Skybox Premium. We're gonna give away this Khabib this weekend. So I got a pack clothes, got my bag here. I'm getting a new backpack, by the way. This thing's getting retired before the national. Bob Greasy, Otto, Kobe, Kobe, Trout, Jordan. This Shaq Purple's gonna be one of the bigger cards that we're gonna do. It's really sick. You know, I, I'm doing this thing where I'm only gonna bring my backpack, which is kind of stressful because I really just want to bring a whole bag. And with American Airlines, I can check a bag for free because I'm a gold member, but on Delta, which I booked, I can't. But my flight home is from American, so 
I do get the free bag checks. So I think I'm gonna bring my bag. Selling on the road. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that so I can bring more cards and we can have some more fun on this auction. So July 4th, I'm going to OKC. I'm giving away all these hobby boxes. We're gonna give away Chronicles, Top Scrum, Black, and Prism. I'm telling you guys, don't miss out on this whatnot opportunity. I'm telling you, thousands of dollars worth of prizes. I'm giving away a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna bring all these Kobe's to auction. Some of these Zion's, Jaws. We're gonna bring all this with us to auction. You know, it's gonna be a great 4th of July weekend with my friends. I'm excited. I'm gonna spend some time with them. So we got our sticky notes, we got our team bags, we got our pen, we're ready to roll there. And then we're gonna pack some more cards. I also wanna bring my camera cause I wanna, I wanna vlog a little bit, you know, just this whole experience the road to the national. My life is revolved around traveling now, which is just like, it's, I don't know, it's, it's nuts. I know for a lot of people, this is like a dream. Like you're like, pe people always ask me like, man, like this must be a dream. No, it's, it's amazing. Are you kidding me? We've surpassed all expectations. There was people that didn't believe in what we were doing and now we're just living it out, you know? And it's just like, when you're on the journey and, and things seem rough and, and you don't know what you're, you're on the path, like when I was on the path and I just kept moving forward, you know? But I, I will say that there were plenty of people that said this wasn't gonna work. You know, we're here. I need to know my value. I need to know my worth when I'm making a decision and I trust and, and I take a risk, right? If I take the risk, I have to, what kind of consequences am I gonna suffer? None, you know why? Because I'm gonna gain experience. So if I mess up, I'll learn from it and I'll bring all that energy from that and I'll teach it to somebody else and phew, you know what? It's okay to make mistakes. Have we done this thing perfect? No, but we're doing the best we can with what we got and I love it, so I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I need to get some grub. I'm thinking some in and out Let's do this, we're going to Oklahoma, do a live sale there. Kind of see what's up in Oklahoma. Next stop, okay, see. Here we go, so this is 357. Where'd you get this? Online. Whew. Like when you say dollop, like how much are we talking? It looks like barbecue sauce. Yeah, it tastes great. All right, here we go. Dude, where's the water? You got your nitro Pepsi. <clears throat> oh my God. Dude, I can't talk. You should have let me enjoy your homemade pizza without that first. That's true. Ugh. How long does it take to go away? Dude, it's hitting. Oh my God, dude. 15 minutes in, I got a piece of ice on, my, on the side and it's helping, but that was... 350,000 Scoville. And there's there's one that's 15 million, so. And then you said, the, hey, what'd you say the habanero was what? 100 and what? 150,000. 150, Look at my eye. All right, so we're in Oklahoma today. I'm gonna shoot a gun for the first time. I've never shot a gun before. Oh yeah. That's way better. So what do you call that? Uh, what is it? CZ 75. Oh, look at that. Oh. FN5, or what is it? 9C. That's cool. We're ready to shoot. So you let that go and it'll slide in. Okay. And then when you aim, you want the top part to be like barely peeking up. Take your time. How much does that hold, Patty? That was the first experience. <sighs> All right, we'll take it. Oh, dude, that was cool. Thank you, Patty. I'm in Edmond, Oklahoma right now, and I'm gonna do a live sale. I'm gonna show you guys how I can sell sports cards from anywhere in the world. I'm gonna be live on the WhatNot app tonight. This is our Road to the National episode. We're gonna give away $1,500 next week. We're giving away $1,000 tonight. You can hear the fireworks right now. We are gonna give away a thousand dollars on whatnot if you guys haven't checked out my whatnot use the link down below i use whatnot and i do one dollar auctions on whatnot use my link down below you get your first ten dollars to spend on whatnot i'm going to be giving away five thousand dollars at the national card show i hope everyone has a great fourth of july and i'm going to show you guys the process i brought all the stuff with me we're in oklahoma right now so here we go road to the national a night of live selling
Here we go. So basically what I have the luxury of is I can go live and I can sell sports cards from anywhere in the world. And that's what I'm gonna show you guys tonight through this video. We're gonna be live for about two hours tonight. It's about 9.05 right now. 25 minutes until we go live. I've been live on Whatnot for the last six months. I've been able to buy, sell, and trade sports cards on there. To actually take pictures of the cards and list them on, on eBay or on your website versus if I sell them on Whatnot, I can just move them out. So here's what we have tonight. We're gonna do a lot of Kobe cards tonight. We're gonna give away Topps Chrome Black tonight. We're gonna give away a Khabib from a private autograph signing. We're gonna give away Prism Soccer with one autograph in it and then Lamelo Ball and Anthony Edwards rookie. We're gonna give away this Chronicles basketball hobby box. So we're giving away all that thousand dollars worth of stuff. Also, stay tuned for next week. We're gonna give away fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. Then the next week after that, seventeen fifty, and so on. And at the National Card Show, I'll have five thousand dollars worth of memorabilia and sports cards to give you guys. So don't forget to follow my whatnot page. I'm gonna run through some of the slabs I brought. We have a ton of cool inventory at the house, but just for the sake of tonight, just to go live for a couple hours while I'm out of town, we got a Shaquille O'Neal purple prism. We got some other Jordan 8s. These are all gonna be run to the dollar, Mike Trout. This is sick, a 98 Kobe, LeBron. Kobe from 1999 UD Retro. So lots of Kobe, lots of Shaq, LeBron, Jordan. Jameis Winston snuck in there. This Mark McGuire EX. Michael Jordan, this is actually a cool card. Not, not a very valuable card, but still sick. This is the UD Award winners from 91. Jimmy G. And then we got some cool Kobe cards in here. Kobe Bryant Hardwood Prospects this is a classic card. Dwight Howard jersey card. Kobe, Kobe. This is a sick one. Nikola Jokic jersey card. Brandon Moreno for UFC. He was the first Mexican UFC fighter to win. Sean O'Malley, he just, uh, actually, he just tied in the fight on Saturday, so I'm curious how his prices are going. We got the World Cup coming up, so we got Raheem Sterling for England. And then some more UFC. Trey Young, some autos. John Morantz tonight. We got Zions, some more Jaws. So we're gonna run all this tonight. The usual, what you guys have seen in the videos, is I usually have my helper and I have some of my friends over. You know, we can run through thousands of cards tonight. I'm gonna see how many cards I can run in two hours. So we have 80 cards tonight. 80 cards, minute per card. That's actually pretty good. I could probably get this done. Basically what I'm gonna do, here's the process. I'm gonna run a card like this. I have my sticky notes with me. I'm gonna team bag all these and I'm gonna take these on the airplane. I fly back home to Sacramento tomorrow. Hopefully, you know, whoever wins wants it ripped. Usually they want it ripped, so it'll be good content. We're gonna have some fun tonight. We got about 20 minutes left. I'm gonna get some caffeine in me, kind of relax a little bit. For me with the content and everything else, like I go to card shows to be able to go live and sell, especially on the Whatnot platform. I've done this before. We've never recorded it. I've been in hotel rooms and I've gone live. I hope you guys enjoy the experience. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you can get my notifications, like the video, and you can find me on Instagram, Mojo Autographs, and don't forget to use my discount code on whatnot. You'll get your first $10 to spend with my link. We'll see you guys in a bit. Here we go, good luck. 212 entries, picking a winner, and here we go. This is it. Our winner, and you could tell me if you want it opened. Here we go, there's fireworks in the background. MN Cards 11. MN Cards 11, he's in here, is he in here? Do you want it opened? He wants it opened, oh snap, this is it. We're opening this box. This is one autograph per box. This is you open it and like that's it, so it's gonna be crazy. Top scrum black, good luck. Our hit's right here, it's right off the bat. Oh, this is crazy, I can't even get it. Here we go, all right, can we cover it? All right, here we go, we got our pack first. Top Trump Black, we're getting the pack. We've got Matt Chapman for the A's, Oakland A's, back home, what up? Nice, purple of Dalton Varsho. At a 150. There you go. Top Trump Black, oh snap. We got, a, we got a Blue Jay. We got a Blue Jay. Alejandro Kirk Otto. There you go. Alejandro Kirk, that's our first hit of the night. Nice. Dollar auctions, we're gonna get through as many auctions as we can tonight. So here you go, Kobe Bryant this is our first auction of the night. 10 seconds left, $17. Boom, there you go, Texas Russ, our first winner of the night, so there you go. He won the Kobe, I got my note card right here. I got my sticky note, I'm gonna put on this, I'm gonna put his name. So Texas Russ, if you win any more auctions, you'll get a discount on shipping. 95, 96 medal, Shaquille O'Neal. Clear metal. Zion Williamson, lot of three. What do you guys think of Zion? You think Zion's gonna be good? What do you think? 
We need another donut shop video. <laughs> my dad, my, it's funny, people have been going to my dad's donut shop and mentioning the YouTube, so it's actually really funny that you just said that. There you go. Comic book chaser, nice. It's a cool card, Prism. So this is the Silver Prism Jerry Rice, here we go. OTE, nice. There you go, happy 4th of July to everybody, wherever you're at. Where are you guys, where are you guys watching this from? Put it down in the comments, where are you guys watching? Two Jordans, 92 Fleer 8 and the 91 Fleer 8. Michael Jordan, we'll do them together. Bob Greasy, right? Do Miami Dolphins, perfect season. Bob Greasy, 11 of 50, this guy was a beast, Hall of Famer. Bob Greasy, Jersey Auto, I snuck this one in there. Are you training the Burbank Card Show? I'm pretty sure I am. Purdue, yes, this is a cool card. I have a couple of autographs, jersey cards, stuff like that, besides Kobe in here, so. Fins up, there we go, we got, some, we got some Miami people in here, that's what I'm talking about. Bob Greasy, there you go. What show are you guys going to next? Are you guys going to Dallas, where are you guys going? Next up, we got LeBron James, PSA 8. LeBron James, PSA 8 right there. There you go, Eric 90. I don't know, man, like, the shows, it seems like before the national, it's the Dallas Card Show. I'm, I'm gonna say this right now, I'm gonna make an announcement. I'm not going to the Dallas Card Show. I opened this hobby box one time, had a 299. Look at this, had a 299, 24K insert from Gold Standard. I used to open this box. Nice, dude, K7, nice win on that, dude. 40, 43 bucks, not bad. We got people in here, we got 200 people. We got homies in here saying hi, what up, what up? Jordan, Wizards and Bulls, Wizards and Bulls. The victories. Farewell to a legend. What is the most annoying thing that is said at card shows? And you can quote me, it's fine. I say let's go too much. I'll admit it. One of my faults is I say let's go too much. Give me some of your pet peeves, I'll read them out loud. The comps are, hold on, let me check comps. Breakers breaking at card shows, going nuts over nothing. Where are you at on that Luca? <laughs> what can you do? Sheesh. Do you guys in the comment section on YouTube or in whatnot, what is the, why is there a problem with the comps thing? I'm curious. DeAndre Ayton, we got Dwight Howard and Nikola Jokic. Have you guys seen that guy on the heat, Nikola Jovic? That's gonna be confusing. Here we go. Three big men, game jerseys, game used. Jokic, Dwight Howard, and DeAndre Ayton. I'm putting them together. We don't wanna run these individually. Let's just run it. Good luck, this is Chronicles Basketball. This is LaMelo Ball and uh, Anthony Edwards. We're giving this away, valued about 300. Oh, I dropped it, 300 bucks. Good luck to all. We're doing good on time. We're at 10, 11 right now. So here we go, Chronicles Basketball. One more, one more person enter. There we go, we're picking a winner. Here we go, we're picking a winner. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We're gonna rip it. Rip it and ship it. Comic Book Chaser. Is he in here? Oh yeah, you won some stuff. You wanna rip it? I'm gonna give you the option, I mean. What's up, Caleb, what's good, bro? We're in Oklahoma, we're celebrating uh, 4th of July. Rip it, here we go. I think you're gonna get something in here, man. I have a, I have a fresh case, these are all coming from fresh cases. And I, I've been opening them on YouTube and I still haven't pulled the big hit, so. Is that a redemption? Oh wait, I think this is our auto. Wait, I don't want, oh my God, dude. Hold the phone. Yo, I'm gonna flip it, here we go. Wait, 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 Obi Toppin, see there's a lot of rookies. All right, here we go, I'm gonna flip it. Oh my God, I thought it was LaMelo. My hands are shaking, it's not LaMelo. Holy heck, I saw the logo. Look at the autograph, that's why I saw it. Oh my Lord, I'm in shock right now. I thought it, I was, dude, I had to cut to the chase, I couldn't help it. I know you, dude, I just, oh, oh that would have been crazy. Do you see my hand? I was freaking out, man. I got excited because I saw the logo and then I seen the autograph. Obi Toppin out of 99, that's cool. The one thing I think the best advice I can give you is you gotta be consistent. Like if you're gonna be on the internet or if you're gonna be live streaming or anything, if you're not consistent, you're not gonna make it on the, you're not gonna make it. Consistency is key, right? If I wasn't consistent, I don't know how big we were gonna be on this thing. I was consistent in the sense like, I put my heart and passion into this thing and I put a lot of downtime into it. And I had a lot of people that told me this couldn't be done. And the truth is like, I had to put my head down and instead of just getting all upset and beating myself up, I just kept moving forward. Wow, Giannis out of 149, that's sick. Red Giannis, that's a cool card, man. Nice, Jordan Nawara, out of 13, 11 of 13 jersey numbers. 
advice for a young collector is have fun with this thing, man. I was a young collector and I was a true collector. So be a true collector. Let the collector come out when you can. Michael Jordan, 91 Fleer, Michael Jordan, 92 Upper Deck. Michael Jordan. I went to college, I did the deal. It's not for everyone, man, to, to do this full time, you know? I, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Timing's everything though. That's, I mean, that's life, man. Also, like, the people you meet along the way, like, those people are gonna help you tremendously throughout the journey. I've had a lot of people that came before me that helped me get, the, get to where I'm at. This is a Kobe Bryant 2000. I put it in a mag because I thought it looked sick. This card looks so sick. Kobe Bryant Fleer Force. Evo West, nice win. We did it, we pulled it off. I'm in Oklahoma right now, and I told you guys I could sell cards from anywhere. See, say hi to YouTube. Say what you wanna say about whatever in the, in the community, in the hobby. The whatnots we do, they're gonna be fun. There's gonna be quality cards, and everything I'm giving away is not BS, it's great stuff. We wanna give away hobby boxes, we wanna rip wax, up until the national. Here we go, picking a winner. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And our winner is Berto underscore card collector, Berto. Ladies and gents, we're done in the live here. This is it, we're gonna rip for this for Berto. We're gonna do some Prism Soccer. Eduardo Mendy. I'll show the camera some of these cooler ones. Soich, we got a blue of Azil Pakuda. Oh, 340, that's cool. All right, this is it, are you guys ready for the autograph? Carl Darlow, the goalie. There you go. I appreciate all you guys. I hope you guys had fun. Did you guys have fun? It was only like, it was like an hour and a half stream, not bad. That is it, we are live in Oklahoma. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to Whatnot, shout out to the homies on here. We had a good time tonight. We're gonna light some fireworks tonight. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Comment down below what your favorite part was. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We have the road to the national coming up. This is the series, so I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you guys later, see ya. Oh snap, this is it. Oh my god.